I think swimming, it's very cerebral for me because I can think about work, I can think about home, I can think about my family, I can think about just going faster. I grew up on a lake, so I've always been around the water. I love the water. That's one of the things I really enjoy doing on the ship is going up to topside when we're underway and just looking out at the water. It's beautiful. I'm a nuclear engineering officer for the United States Navy. You can't really grasp what this job is going to be like until you're doing it. There's definitely a personality type that goes through this program. I started nuclear power training in December of 1999. I'm talking to you today, uh, just about 10 years later in command of this ship. Growing up, math, math was it for me. I had, I never considered the joining the military or the military as an option until I'd heard about the NUPAC program. I definitely like something that makes me think, something that I can figure out. I enjoy learning how a reactor actually works because that's not really common knowledge. It gives a leadership opportunity in a, in a very highly technical environment for any officer who chooses to, uh, to go this path. I enjoy being able to put my personal touch on it and lead, lead the team the way I think is most efficient. Well, behind us, what we have is the USS Nimitz, CVN-68. What we're doing right now is we're basically testing everything that we've fixed in the last five months. It's like this every day. The wheels are in motion 100% of the time, all the time. Everything that sustains the life on the ship, reactor department creates the steam that drives the, that gives the power for that. Nimitz is powered by two nuclear reactors. Uh, in order for us to steam hundreds of millions of miles safely on nuclear power, uh, we have to have a very uh, strict training regimen for all of the operators who operate the nuclear power plant. Working with the reactor, you know, we start it up, we shut it down, we do um, drills and all that. It's your watch team, and so you have the human factor there where I'm leading a watch team of um, the enlisted guys who are, who are also down there. And so I have, I, I can influence how we all interact with each other. Hi, concerning the, the fire drill that we had on Wednesday, um, Petty Officer Salazar, what did you see that the drill team did well? Pretty much everything. Pretty much they did everything well, okay. How was the dressing out and the EVDs? In reactor department, you, you have really intelligent people who are, they, they impress me every day. Our Navy officers all have uh, satisfied the, the, the values of honor, courage, and commitment. That's just by being in Navy uniform. Uh, and then what we hope to do is to satisfy their intellectual curiosity that they gain from, from college, uh, looking into the Navy and saying, hey, I want to do that. I want to, I want to do something different. Um, I want to do something bigger than myself. This is the first thing I've ever done that I can honestly say that I don't think everybody could do it. At first you feel lost, you know, at first you're like, ah, there's so much knowledge that we're getting. But as you start to understand the theory and then understand how to use the theory, you definitely feel more confident and you definitely feel like I can pretty much do anything. The Carrier Strike Group represents the most potent uh, forward operating force that we have in the United States Navy today. The, the presence of a United States Navy aircraft carrier when it's reported in the media, when people see it, uh, it influences uh, everybody in the region. Uh, it shows, demonstrates United States commitment to, uh, to our allies and to security uh, and stability in each region. Uh, nuclear power allows us to get forward very, very rapidly and without the requirement to be refueled. It is critical to our operations. I think it is, it is a huge responsibility to be a nuclear officer on an aircraft carrier, and we're reminded of it every day. Without these reactors creating this heat, we're a buoy. We're a buoy in the middle of the ocean. You're walking around downtown San Diego and you look up at one of the tallest buildings. It's maybe about 500 feet. Imagine about twice that size, and that's what I live on, and that's what I work on every single day. The hours are definitely long when you're out to sea, but you find time uh, throughout the day to have a little bit of fun. I would say I have a very active personal life. I'm very involved with music. I'm very involved with training for triathlons. The Navy accommodates, uh, and I have time to do that. 
There's no feeling like coming in after an deployment. I'm almost rolling up right now talking about it. <laughs> You're swelled with the sense of pride and accomplishment. Pulling back into your home port is like nothing else I've ever felt. Hi, my name is Chris Zundell. I'm a lieutenant junior grade in the United States Navy. Hi, my name is Bristol Hartledge. I'm a lieutenant in the United States Navy. I always like to see people's reactions when I tell them what I do. It's never short of surprise.